Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Crafting with the Family. This is Marta Costo, and today we will be reviewing bread machine pretzels. To start this recipe, we're going to add one cup of warm water to the bread mixer pan, along with two teaspoons of kosher salt, a tablespoon of brown sugar, three and one quarter cups of bread flour or all-purpose flour. In this case, I'm using all-purpose flour. Bread machine yeast. I like to use the Fleischmann's bread machine yeast. You can also use regular yeast. It just might take a little bit longer to rise and you might not be able to do it in the bread cycle. Then put it inside your bread machine, set it to the dough cycle, and hit start. As you can see, the machine mixes it all up. Uh, I push down the sides because I don't like those hard, crusty things that form in the side. It also gives me a chance to see how tough the dough is. Here you can see I added a little bit of water and pushed it down to make it form better. It seemed a little bit too dry. After an hour and a half, the bread is risen. Pull it out onto a well-floured surface and flour it up some more. At this point, you're gonna to wanna to stretch the dough out and cut it into however many pretzel pieces you plan on making. In my case, I made 16 pretzels. I did my best to cut them into even-sized pieces, but it doesn't always work. I covered a baking sheet in a piece of parchment paper. And then as you roll out each pretzel, you form it into the, it, you roll it out into a long dough piece. And then you fold it into the classic pretzel shape. Once you really get moving on it, you get used to doing the twist and pressing down the ends and you'll be able to make that classic pretzel shape. And as you can see, as I get going here, yes, I did cut a little bit out, but I was moving faster and faster with each subsequent piece. Um, once you get in the hang of it, it really does move quickly and you get through those 16 pieces in no time. As you can see here, I'm finishing up the last one. Got quite a mess to clean up. Cover your pretzels with plastic wrap and you're gonna turn around and you're gonna let these proof for 25 minutes. It's at this time you can preheat your oven to get it up to temperature so that you get a nice even baking. While we're getting our water boiling on the stove, here we're adding a tablespoon of baking soda to water. Once your water is at a rolling boil on the stove, you're going to drop in your pretzels for one minute. This is what's going to give you that classic chewy crust. After one minute, flip those bad boys over and do it again. One more minute. Now that they've cooked a minute on each side, we're gonna get them out of the water. We're gonna dunk them straight into the baking soda water that we mixed up just a second ago. And you wanna roll them around. The baking soda water is what's actually gonna give them that beautiful brown crust that you associate with pretzels. Put them over onto a drying rack and let them drip off. You wanna try and uh, let them drip off as much moisture as possible. You can also turn around and salt your pretzels at this time as it'll make the uh, salt stick to them. And now just repeat in batches. Keep boiling the pretzels one minute on each side. Then when it's all said and done, you place them back on your parchment paper lined baking tray. You put them into the oven and you bake them for a half an hour. After 30 minutes, this is what they look like. Beautiful golden brown. You're going to want to take them out of the oven and transfer them off that baking sheet onto your wire rack. And you're going to want to let them cool for anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes just so that they're not burning your hands or your mouth or anything. Uh, they are absolutely delicious. Crispy bottoms, chewy centers. 
These are fantastic pretzels. Thank you for watching, and please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you really enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, as this really helps me out a lot. Thanks again. Bye.